video is dedicated to all the people who are into manifestation and you're, you've learned about how it's important to be high vibrational and, and live on those most positive frequencies like love, joy and peace. And any time that you don't, you feel scared and guilty that you're not feeling high vibrational and you're scared that you're going to mess up your manifestations or block your blessings or ruin all the progress you've been making. So I'm creating this video because right now I'm not feeling high vibe, <laughs> okay? I've got some anxiety in my chest. I've been overthinking and I was thinking, oh, I don't think I'm happy enough to make a YouTube video. But I thought, Lucy, that's exactly the reason why you should make it because I always know that if there's something that I've been going through, I've been experiencing, if I actually talk about it, share it, and show you how I'm working through it, I know it's gonna help someone else. So let's do a few things together to help improve this mood and get us feeling better in the moment, right now, as you watch this video. Let's go. Right, the first thing we're going to do is breath work. I do breath work every morning and it always helps to reduce anxiety but sometimes that doesn't last the whole day. <laughs> so we're gonna do some breathing together now. I'm gonna cross my legs because I want to. You can do what you wanna do, okay? And this will help to regulate the nervous system. This will help us to calm and slow down our mind. And it might even get us feeling better too. So let's take a deep inhale for one, to, wait, I can't talk and count at the same time. Okay, you just inhale for five seconds, hold for five seconds, and exhale for five seconds at your own speed. And I'm gonna do it too. Let's go. Let's do it five more times. Embrace any emotions that come up and keep going. Two more and relax into these ones. Final one, inhale for five. Hold. And exhale. Let's just chill here for a few moments. Observe how your body is feeling. Place your hands on your heart supportively and speak to your heart. It's okay. I am safe. I am loved. I appreciate myself. proud of myself. I forgive myself. I thank myself. Good. When you're
you're ready, open your eyes. Send out a smile in every direction. Imagine it going out into your auric field. Send that smile out again into your aura. Creating a golden bubble around you. You can do this with your eyes open or closed. Just imagine that energy around you. Picture the energy glowing stronger. And expanding out. It is safe to expand your energy out. Okay, shake your body. Now we're gonna do some movement. Sometimes sitting and meditating and breathing can be great. Other times we've got to move our body. So let's do that. Okay, so this is your invitation to put on whatever music you wanna put on and just dance like nobody's watching. Dance not thinking about what's good dancing or bad dancing or right dancing or wrong dancing, and instead think about your energy. Think about how your energy has been stagnant, it's feeling a bit trapped and blocked, and where does your body want to move? Do you feel like your arms want to move out of their sockets a bit? Do you feel like your hips wanna open themselves up? Let me... Do you feel like your hips want to move around? And as you have the music playing, which I will do in a minute, but YouTube copyright won't allow me to actually play you the music, let it help you to get your energy flowing and moving. Okay, are we ready? You work on your music, I'll work on mine. Alexa. move the energy around. Enjoy the stillness. Appreciate how alive and awake your body feels. Notice if you're already feeling better. I also love burning sage and palo santo. Just make sure when you buy it that you make sure you get the sustainable stuff. Um, 
and I like to ceremonially, ceremonially light a candle. And then I use the candle to light the sage first. Sage is very good at cleansing all kinds of energy. If you feel like you've picked up other people's energy or if you feel like you've just been kind of stewing in your own neggy vibes, <laughs> I find that this really helps to clear that and just carefully I run it near and around my body, being careful not to drop any ash, just allowing it to work in my electromagnetic field, around my heart. And as I'm doing so, I have the intention that this is clearing negative energy. I can say things like, Negative energy is free to leave. I welcome in all positive vibrations and anything else is free to leave my space. Thank you and goodbye, you are free to go. I relieve myself of any heaviness. I release fear, anxiety, negative energy right now. Thank you, you are no longer needed. Anything that no longer serves my most highest vibration is free to release itself from my energy field now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You can open a window, you can sage your whole space. And then like I said, Palo Santo is what I finish off with afterwards. Mm -hmm. So I like the Palo Santo with the same candle. Let it stay lit for a little bit so that it can get smoky. Obviously, being careful as you do all of this. And then the sweet smoke of the Palo Santo is a gorgeous way to lift your vibration up. I'm doing this over the crown of my head. Thank you, sweet Palo Santo. Thank you for your positive energy and your vibrations. I ask you to welcome in any supportive energy, guardian angels and spirit guides, and make my space powerfully protected, strong and positive. Allow the vibrations of love, joy and peace to reverberate around my space and to live inside my body. Allow me to be able to effortlessly feel love, joy, gratitude, and peace. All is well, all is well, and so it is. And if you still feel like you're not feeling your best today, also maybe just accept that. Be kind and gentle to yourself and listen to what do you need? What's something that you could do for yourself that would make you feel safe? What's something that you could do for yourself that would make you feel comforted and loved and supported? What act of self-care does your body, mind or energy crave right now? So I could give you my tips, but my biggest tip would be for you to listen to your own needs. I want to be an advocate for normalizing those days when you're not feeling of your highest vibration and instead of punishing yourself for them or beating yourself up for not being manifestation perfect, it's much healthier and better for your overall long-term manifestation journey to allow yourself to feel those feelings, to release them, whether that means having a good cry or a good scream even and to prioritize doing things that are actually going to support you rather than suppressing it all, ignoring it and just running around without addressing any of those things. So let's be kind and gentle with ourselves for the rest of today, my friends. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, let me know. And also, if you would like me to guide you through some uh, 
uh, energetic movement sessions properly rather than me just doing a voiceover of my own dancing, then let me know. Stay hydrated, rest, journal out your feelings if you need to, honor your body's natural cycles, and think about treating yourself like the person who you love more than anyone else in the world. If this video just found you and you haven't subscribed yet, I invite you to join us, to join our community. And if you wanna dive deeper into your manifestation and healing journey, check out my members only videos. The members only section of my YouTube has over a hundred masterclasses, recordings of events, and powerful videos to help you on your healing and manifestation journey. To get access to those videos, you can either press the join button next to my name, or I'll put the link in the description. We've got this. Thank you for being here with me. I love you. Till next time.